friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat In A Day To Lose Weight On WW. I'm taking you with me today on all of my meals, breakfast, lunch, dinner, dessert, and my snacks. We're gonna go to an open house. We're gonna have some hauls of some fun stuff that I've recently purchased. And you're gonna get a glimpse, of course, at Diesel and Lola. Funny thing is, they always do the same thing. So it's a lot of repeat with the dogs, but I try to capture some fun moments with them. So if you wanna come along with me today, see everything that I ate and just spend the day together, then just stay tuned. my nutrition order arrived. So just so you know, I did buy all of this with my own money. These are staples in my house from nutrition. So first let's start with the elephant in the room, the big pile of pasta. So I went ahead and picked up my favorite pasta, the fiber gourmet. You guys know I love this pasta. This pasta is only three smart points for two ounces. Traditional pasta is five to six smart points for two ounces. So literally half it tastes delicious. It's just as good as regular pasta, but it has fiber and protein. So it keeps you full a lot longer than regular pasta and half the smart points. So this is a staple. You can only get this on Nutrition's website. So I always, always stock up when I place my order. So you can see I picked up three packages of light spaghetti, two packages of light penne, three packages of the rotini, and three packages of the elbows. So this will last me a while. I just throw it in my pantry and I have it available for my pasta dishes. I also grabbed some sugar-free syrup. This was a really good price and I've heard that this Joseph's brand is really good. I don't know if you can see this, but it is like really nice and thick. So I picked that up because I plan on making quite a bit of pancake bakes and that type of thing that requires syrup. Also, my Walmart has very limited flavors of the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce. So I saw that Nutrition had the mesquite. So I went ahead and picked up the mesquite flavored barbecue sauce just to have. I have actually never had this one. So if you have, let me know. Also, restock of my Sucre and Gold brown sugar. You know this is my favorite. I like this one because it is all natural. It doesn't have any weird aftertaste. It literally tastes like brown sugar and it's zero calories. And honestly, it's it really truly is a very good dupe for brown sugar. The other thing and the main reason besides the pasta I hopped on to order was to restock my sugar-free honey. So this is the Nature's Hollow honey substitute it is delicious you can have one tablespoon for 30 calories or one smart point so this is a fantastic alternative to honey it is so incredibly delicious i've never seen this anywhere else so i always just buy it off of nutrition it's just it's easier and it comes delivered to my doorstep and then I also bought two of the Eat Me Guilt-Free Brownies. I saw these on my friend uh, Becoming Alexa's channel. If you haven't checked her out, she has such a great YouTube channel. I just adore her. And she had these, so I thought I'd pick up a couple to try. So this is the birthday cake. And then I also grabbed the lemon because your girl loves anything lemon. So I bought all of that. And then Nutrition actually sent me this in my package. This is the gold standard chocolate protein. I don't know the points, but it'll be here on the screen for you guys. But here is the nutritional information in this. So I'm excited to try this. I'm always up for protein, but to be honest, Devotion's my favorite. So I would never switch from that, but it's nice to have something different just to try. So that is everything that I picked up from Nutrition. There is a link down in the description box. If you click it, it takes you directly to the site and you can search your little heart out for the hundreds of WW friendly items. I mean, literally hundreds that you can buy off of Nutrition. So definitely check it out down in the description box. Highly recommend the pasta and the sugar-free honey. So here is what I am having for breakfast. You guys, I cannot wait. So what I have here is one serving of my banana chocolate chip pancake bake. 
I made this in meal prep that was posted on Monday. So definitely check out that video. I'll try to link it down in the description box for you. This is so incredibly filling, delicious. It gives you that little bit of sweet in the morning, delicious. The syrup that I'm using, I wanted to show it to you guys. It is this, this is the Joseph's All Natural Maple Flavor Sugar-Free Syrup. Gluten-free, I did buy this off of Netrition's website. Hands down, it is so thick. It is delicious. It tastes like authentic maple syrup. Nothing artificial tasting in this syrup at all. I am in love. So if you wanna pick this up, there is a link in the description box. It'll take you to Netrition and you can search around and see all of the WW friendly foods, but most definitely add this syrup to your cart. I love it. I'm gonna order it in bulk so that I never run out. It is that good. So I have just about a tablespoon of the syrup on my pancake bake. And then I went ahead and cooked up two eggs and I cooked those in this cute little egg cooker. So I have one of these linked down in my Amazon store. You literally spray this, add your egg, cook it for less than a minute and you have perfect eggs. Makes cleanup so easy, no pans, no spatulas, easy peasy. So I made two eggs in that. And then of course, I'm just going to have some fresh strawberries. Oh, they look so good. So this entire breakfast, you guys, five smart points. We wouldn't have a what I eat in a day without some video of you two in bed. Are you cozy, buddy? Are you good? Yeah, he's just scratching your eyes. There isn't a day that goes by or a video that goes by without you two in bed. Let's go take a little peek at your sister. Buddy? Hi, Squirt. Did you make your way in the bed? Oh, I see you've dug out Mama's covers again. Yes, again, no video goes by without you guys in bed. Huh, baby? Yes, a good girl, yes. Yes, I love you. I sure do. It is morning snack time. It's about 9.45. I ate breakfast at about 7. So I'm going to have a black cherry chocolate built bar. So good, you guys. Legit tastes like a chocolate covered cherry. These are still available on Built Bar's website. I don't know how long they'll be available, but you can still order these. My code is here on the screen. It will give you 10% off and free shipping. And you can use my code over and over again. It's not just a one time use. So these bars have 110 calories, 15 grams of protein, six fiber, four sugar, four fat. And my friends, these keep you full and they cure that sweet tooth that you have sometimes mid-morning or mid-afternoon. They are seriously incredibly delicious. They taste like a candy bar, but they are packed full of protein and goodness. Here's what the bar looks like on the inside. It's kind of a marshmallowy texture. So if you put it in the fridge or the freezer, it kind of helps harden the inside, gives it a completely different taste, completely different texture. I actually like it either way, whether it's fresh out of my pantry, fridge, or freezer. So definitely check out Built Bar. Use my code, save yourself 10%, and get free shipping. Best three smart point snack ever. So this is my morning snack for three smart points. So here's my little Dollar Tree haul. I actually went to the Dollar Tree for one thing, and that was a calendar for next year. And $20 later, I'm out of the Dollar Tree. So I did get my calendar. So we always just buy our yearly calendar at the Dollar Tree. It's cheap. They're nice. They're perfect. This one actually came with a small little one. I think I'm gonna take this into my office and put it up on my board. So we just got the landscapes one. I thought it was really pretty. And honestly, you can't beat it for a dollar. And we usually transfer all of our birthdays and appointments and things over onto a new calendar. So this is what I went there for. And these are the things I came out with. So I found this cute little fall plate. And you know I like having pretty decorative plates for my videos for $1 can't beat it. It is melamine, so it's not, um, you know, a glass or ceramic plate, but it's really pretty and perfect for fall. And then I also got this one. Now this one is similar to my full size plates. And I just really like that. It says grateful. It is a salad size plate, but again, these are going to be really nice to have in my videos. Also picked up another pack of thank you cards. Uh, I send these out to people who stop by my open houses. And honestly, the Dollar Tree, really inexpensive. Can't beat it. And they're the Hallmark Expression. So they're actually really nice thank you cards. Also grab these pot holders. They say, wake up and smell the coffee. I really like, I know as weird as this sounds, the cheapy, thin pot holders. I think that they're a little bit easier to use when pulling things out of the oven. So I thought I would just grab these to have on hand. Can't beat the price. 
Also, I got a new plastic spoon. Mine was getting pretty, pretty icky. And then I got a new pair of scissors. This is for my office. I don't have scissors there, so I'm gonna bring those with me to the office. And then I found these cute little spiral journals that say home is where the heart is. So I grabbed these and these are going to be given away in my gifts to my new homeowners. So anyone who buys a home through me when they close and I meet them for their keys, I give them a gift. So I'm going to include one of these cute little spiral notebooks as part of that gift. So I picked up two of those. Also, I grabbed this one. They only had one or I would have gotten more. It says bless this house. So it's a cute little desk pad with a pen. Again, just want to use these when um, for my buyers just to give them a little gift when they get their keys. I found a card here for Thanksgiving. I'm going to send this to my in-laws. They just moved to Arizona and we miss them. So Terry, if you're watching this video, love you, miss you. Don't look at this card. I'm going to be giving this card to my in-laws for Thanksgiving. Two packs of star stickers. So what I've been doing is in my uh, Con Aaron Condren planner every day that I stay within my points. So I get a blue dot or I'm within my allowed points for the day. I'm putting a star on that day in my calendar. And honestly, you guys, it's been a huge motivator. I open up my calendar, which I use constantly. You guys, if you don't have an Aaron Condren planner, check it out. There's a link down in my description box and a discount code. I'll put that here on the screen for you, but I use it every day, all day. It's how I track my life. So when I open it up and I see these stars, then I can see how many days I've stayed on track. And it's just honestly, hugely motivating for me. And you can't beat it. This is almost half a year worth of stars for $2. So I picked that up. This cute little wooden block that says gather. I actually really like the font on here and it has this cute little plaid. Couldn't beat it for a dollar. I thought it'd be really cute as part of my Thanksgiving decor. And I couldn't pass this little guy up. He says boo, it's a little wooden ghost and it does actually light up. Maybe it is from the Dollar Tree, so you know. But anyways, it's supposed to light up, but it's really cute even not. So it's just this cute little wooden boo ghost that I'm gonna put out with my Halloween decor. Also some hangers. My husband said that he was running low and you can't beat seven hangers for a buck. And lastly, I picked up this really cute Halloween garland. So it has these cute little shimmery pumpkins. So I want this to hang on my little table in my formal living room for Halloween. So that's everything that I picked up at the Dollar Tree. So here's lunch today. I'm heading out the door to my open house. It's almost an hour away. So I'm having a snacky lunch. Plus I'm trying to keep my smart points fairly low uh, so that I have a lot for dinner because my dinner is pretty point heavy. So in here, I just literally have a lemon and some water. That's what I'm gonna take as a drink. I'm also going to take a protein shake because I thought this would be nice to have this afternoon, maybe on my way home from my open house. It has a little bit of caffeine, give me a little afternoon boost. This is the iconic grass-fed cafe latte protein shake. Obsessed with these, you guys. The ingredients are absolutely spectacular not chemically like the premier protein it is the ingredients in the premier is horrible and these are much much better much cleaner ingredients sweetened with a much better for you sweetener monk fruit and stevia extract two smart points the same as the premier but in my opinion just a better overall quality shake and tasting shake I do have a 15% off discount for Iconic. It's here on the screen for you. If you're interested in trying it out, they have several flavors. Again, they are still two smart points per protein shake. A Little bit bigger shake than the Premier as well. So go ahead and use my code, check it out. It makes the price pretty similar to Premier. So I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna have one of my Choco Right uh, milk chocolate pecan clusters as a dessert for lunch. Two smart points for this pack. I can buy, you can buy these on the ProteinWise website. Link down below gets you $10 off your first order. Really, really good. And then the main part of my lunch, these are why I love these bars. They are a meal. They're so good. They're six smart points. These are the healthy eating all the time and go peanut butter granola bar and cranberry. So good. I mean, the ingredients on these bars are incredible. It's literally oats, peanut butter, sunflower seeds, almonds, cocoa flakes, honey, cranberries, and coconut flour. That's it. Six smart points, whole ingredients, fabulous macros, great on the go lunch. She is so sweet. She does have a 12% discount code for you guys. 
The code is here on the screen. It is not an affiliate link. It's just something that she is offering to you guys as a courtesy. I don't receive anything in return for you purchasing these bars, but she's a wonderful lady in a great company and a fantastic bar. So lunch is six points for the bar two points for the dessert so that's eight points and then afternoon snack would be two points for the iconic protein so lunch on the go hey guys i'm at my open house it's about one o'clock i actually just said goodbye to my clients and set everything up for the open house so cross your fingers cross 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 them and cross them tight that we get this house sold it's been on the market only about a week and a half but my clients have actually already offered and that offer's been accepted on a new home. So we really just wanna get this sold for them so that they feel at ease and can just focus on getting into their new home. So send good vibes my way for the open house today. It is a beautiful home. It's just, it's in a little area outside of town, so to speak. So it does generally take a bit longer for homes to sell, but just cross your fingers for me. So I did have my healthy eating all the time and go bar on the way out here, as well as my little dessert. That was really, really good. I love those bars and that I hadn't had that Choco Rite and it was really, really good. So delicious. So that's what I had. That was eight points and I threw my protein shake in the fridge here so that I can grab it when I head out at three o'clock. So again, wish me luck, send good vibes my way. Home, I just got in the garage, so this is my routine. Hi, everybody! Hi! Oh, I know! Hi, guys! Hi! Oh, Lana, come here! Come here, Mama, love you! Oh, these will get down, get down! What, are you mad that I left? I'm home now. Hi, guys, you guys are good doggies. Look, come here! Hi, baby! Hi! Hi, everyone! home from my open house and I'm a little hungry so I'm gonna have another snack I have the points for it today so what I have here is one of my cinnamon streusel apple muffins that I made in meal prep again that video will be linked down below it is amazing you guys if you have not made these muffins they are so good they have this yummy crumb coating. The apples make it nice and moist. So this is three smart points. And then you saw me brew my cup of coffee. This is the pumpkin spice cake from Nespresso. I ordered this off of their website and I added one tablespoon of the silk pumpkin spice creamer. Can never have too much pumpkin and that is one point. So my cup of coffee and my cinnamon swirl muffin is a total of four smart points. For tonight's dinner, I am making Philly cheese steak sandwiches, and I'm gonna show you a little hack on how to save some points on the bread. So let me show you what's in our sandwiches. So first you're going to need some chicken broth or chicken stock, whatever you prefer. Also some Worcestershire sauce, hoagie rolls or whatever type of bun you would like to use for your Philly cheese steaks. Lots of peppers, I'm gonna do red, orange, and yellow. I have the shaved steak. I buy this at Kroger, which is also a Fred Meyer store, and it is so great for Philly cheese because it's already thinly sliced and it cooks up really fast, no prep, no work, and perfect meat for a Philly cheese. We're gonna be using the Trader Joe's organic shredded mozzarella cheese as our cheese. Uh, it's really low in points and it is so good. And then also I'll be chopping up a couple of sweet onions to cook down with the peppers. And on the side, I'm just going to steam up these mixed vegetables. So let's get started with our dinner. So the first thing that we need to do is chop up our peppers. I'm just going to cut them into strips and same with our onions. Our meat luckily is ready to go. So I'm gonna chop these up and I'm going to put them directly into a pan that I've sprayed with some nonstick cooking spray and then we'll get these cooking down before we add in our meat. Thank you. 
So I've got my peppers and onions here on the stove. I just added a little bit of salt and pepper. We're gonna let these cook down completely or pretty close to softened and then we'll go ahead and add in our meat. It'll cook really quick because it's so thinly shaven. As our veggies are starting to cook down, I'm going to add one quarter cup of my chicken stock and I'm also going to add a couple tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce and that's just going to soak into those veggies and give it that really authentic Philly steak flavor. So we'll let these continue to cook down and then we'll add in our meat. Once your vegetables are cooked most of the way down, we're gonna go ahead and add in our meat. So we're just going to make sure our meat gets nice and mixed in with our veggies and gets cooked down. Oh, we're getting steamy. There we go. Gets nice and cooked down. You can see it's very thinly cut, which is awesome. So let me get this meat cooked down and then we're ready to assemble our sandwiches. So for our buns, my husband's gonna have two, of course, and I'm gonna have one, but I'm gonna show you a quick little bread hack thanks to one of my subscribers. So go ahead and open up your roll and pull out the inners of your bread. Keep the, the shape, keep the crust, but just pull out a lot of what's in the middle of your bread and you can cut your points down by two this way. And you still get a hoagie roll, you still get a Philly cheesesteak sandwich, but look at all this bread that we just pulled out from our roll, and that's going to save us two smart points. So we're gonna throw that away, and these are going to go under the broiler in the oven for just a few minutes until they get nice and crispy. So definitely a great bread hack, so thank you who, to who shared it. All right, so I just pulled my hoagie roll out of the oven. Look how crispy, yum. So to my hoagie roll, I'm going to be adding one tablespoon of light mayo. That's the way that I like my hoagie rolls is with mayonnaise. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that. And then I'm also going to add my meat. So I want about two ounces of the Philly cheese steak meat. And then of course, unlimited vegetables, all the onions and peppers uh, that my little heart desires. So I'm going to just add a little bit of meat and a lot of bit of veggies onto my Philly cheesesteak. Oh, this looks so good. And then lastly, I'm going to add some cheese. So I went ahead and measured out one ounce of the Trader Joe's light mozzarella. And I'm just going to, or actually organic mozzarella. I gotta get out of the habit of saying the light mozzarella since it's gone, gone for a while. And then I'm just going to pop this in the microwave for a couple of minutes to melt the cheese. So let me get my veggies on here and I'll be back to show you this me on my meal and give you the smart points. So here is my dinner. So there is my Philly cheese steak. My bread is three points because I dug out the middle of it. And then it is five points worth of meat and cheese. So my sandwich is eight points plus a tablespoon of mayo makes nine. And then I just paired that with some mixed vegetables with some spray butter, salt, and pepper. So this Philly cheese steak deliciousness and this entire dinner is only nine smart points. So this is my dessert for tonight. I'm gonna have a bag of the peach rings from Smart Sweets. These are really good. They are only three smart points per bag, which one or two regular peach rings are three smart points. So this is a great deal. I'll go ahead and open up the bag, show you how much is in there and what the peach rings look like for the three points. So that's how many peach rings that you get in a bag. So there is a decent amount of them. And this here is what they look like. They're really good, they're sweet, but they have that tangy, sugary coating. So I really like them. In fact, I prefer them over the store-bought sugary peach rings. So really, really good. So that is my dessert for tonight. If you're interested in Smart Sweets, my code here on the screen will give you free shipping. So you can hop on over, order up some peach rings. They have tons of different candy options. And again, really good for three Smart Points. Thank you for joining me on another What I Eat in a Day to Lose Weight on the WW Freestyle Program. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me today. That Philly cheesesteak sandwich for dinner was amazing. It was worth every single point. So good. And all of my meals today were actually delicious. It was fun to take you with me to my open house show you my hauls, and of course, spend a little time with Diesel and Lola. So again, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, I'd like to welcome you over to my channel. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button and that bell, that way you're notified every time I upload. You don't wanna miss a single video. I do a What I Eat in a Day every single week, and we upload on Wednesday, What I Eat Wednesday. So again, thanks for watching. 
thumbs up this video and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this, what I eat in a day, what you thought of my hauls, and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Have a fantastic day. Bye.